exploring Ventnor Heyday, a painting by John Howard Worthley. This canvas was the last I did in my garden studio prior to a life-changing move in 1993. It was commissioned by a valued patron whose then hostelry remains at the old railway site. Now it's an industrial estate. The first edition of my story, Joseph's Magic Albatross, was about to be published, of which I couldn't resist sneaking into my picture obscure reference along with other cryptic visuals. And is that station official a characterization of the author? We visited Minehead Railway Station where I was guided by the very helpful station master who provided valuable technical information. Here I managed to capture some useful passenger posture study. The framed 24 by 36 inch picture became part of the local interest displayed on the lounge wall of the Ventnor Terminus Hotel. At some stage, the painting was stolen, but fortunately, a little later, it was retrieved. This was not the only painting to escape such a fate. The would-be villain was caught red-handed, walking off with this portrait my patron had commissioned for another of his establishments. Starting with the sketch visual and master drawing, here's a swift insight of the initial stages of the canvas. The main aspects of the drawing were traced onto the canvas, outlined with a sable brush, and the darker areas blocked in. The preliminary line work was scrubbed over with the general colour theme. I was intent on subduing the stark white of the new canvas and generating an overall sense of summer harvest time. Hence the strong golden hue through which the drawing could clearly be seen. I then started working on the underpainting of the primary features. Some figures were roughly added. And detail gradually worked with the aid of a postcard of a restored carriage from that time. As I shot the progress, I discussed mixing oil paint using just a few basic colours and overwashing areas to adjust vibrancy and tone. Recalling my visit to Minehead Railway Station, here's how that clip came in handy. From a still frame setting to our home television, I made a pencil sketch which I taped to the canvas just above where I gradually worked in the image of the lady and the boy, of course altering their costume. Here the oil paint was constantly pushed around until I was satisfied that the final touches could be made.
I wonder if you can decode the painting. It was all so long ago. Finally, those little clues were referring to the first edition of Joseph's Magic Albatross, some copies of which may still be found. Third edition of the story is now available with extra colour illustrations and variable text size from Amazon Books. It can be enjoyed on computers, tablets and smartphones using the free colour Kindle app.